So when you have a uh, particle facility like Medostron, uh, you immediately have the choice between a, a selection of, of heavy particles that you want to use. Now the one that is most established are protons, but then we can also use carbon ions. So what's the difference? Well, what they have in common is that both of them share the precision with which they can be applied. That means, you know, to increase the radiation dose in the tumor, making it very conformal and a sharp dose fall off to the normal tissues in the periphery, thus less radiation to normal tissues. So they both have that in common. Now, what carbon ions have in, in addition to that is what we believe an increased biologic effectiveness. So not just the physical advantages, but the biologic effectiveness. And that means that we have a lot of indications that carbon ions, like actually also some other of the heavy ions, have an added biologic effectiveness in tumors compared to normal tissues. So if you give the same amount of radiation to a tumor and the same amount of radiation to a normal tissue, it will be more effective in tumors. So the hope is that we have an added benefit of carbon ions. Uh, now, the protons are already well established internationally. Carbon ions are about to be more established but they're still a little bit earlier in their development. So at Medaustron, as a consequence, we will use protons on a routine basis. We also use carbon ions. The carbon ions will, however, be very much part of clinical studies.